Understanding Hand in Hand, a guide to English phrases. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of English phrases. Specifically, we're going to explore the meaning and usage of the phrase, hand in hand. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced learner, this video will help you understand how and when to use this expression effectively. So, let's get started. The phrase, hand in hand, has a literal and a metaphorical meaning. Literally, it refers to two people holding each other's hands, often as a sign of affection or partnership. However, metaphorically, it describes two things that are closely connected or that occur together. For example, trust and respect go hand in hand in any healthy relationship. Here, it means that trust and respect are closely linked and usually appear together. To better understand hand in hand, let's look at some examples. Literal usage, the couple walked hand in hand along the beach. Metaphorical usage, success and hard work often go hand in hand. Negative context, unfortunately, poverty and crime sometimes go hand in hand. These examples show how versatile the phrase can be in different contexts. When using hand in hand, ensure you're implying a close connection or partnership. A common mistake is using it when referring to things that are just related but not necessarily closely linked. For instance, saying, eating and sleeping go hand in hand, might be misleading, as they are related activities but don't necessarily imply a close connection. There are variations of, hand in hand, that you might encounter. Arm in arm, this implies a stronger bond or intimacy. Side by side, used to describe two things happening simultaneously or two people working together closely. Understanding these variations can add depth to your English communication. And that's a wrap on, hand in hand. We hope this video has helped clarify the meaning and usage of this common English phrase. Remember, language learning goes hand in hand with practice and patience. So keep practicing, and don't hesitate to use hand in hand in your conversations. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.